Looking for the best bridge camera? With huge zoom lenses and DSLR style handling, they're a popular choice for many. Bridge cameras are a versatile and affordable alternative to DSLRs. They offer many of the same manual controls as well as a host of easy to use auto modes, plus a huge built-in zoom lens that covers everything from wide angle to super telephoto photography. This makes bridge cameras a great all-in-one solution, especially if you want to travel relatively light, as you'll have one camera that's great for shooting expansive landscapes as well as tightly framed subjects like wildlife. There are two important differences to be aware of though. The first is that bridge cameras have much smaller sensors than DSLRs or mirrorless cameras, so most can't match those models for picture quality. If that's your key concern, stick with one of these options. The second is that the lens is non-removable on a bridge camera, so although it can handle a wide range of subjects, you can't swap to a macro lens for close-ups, for example, or a super wide-angle lens or a fast prime lens for low-light photography. Bridge cameras do, however, give you a lot of camera for your money, and they're a great stepping stone for photographers who want to move on from simple point-and-shoot cameras. There are also now a few models that have larger sensors and deliver better picture quality, and which come a lot closer to the performance of a DSLR. So, without any further ado, this is our pick of the best bridge cameras you can buy right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Sony Cybershot RX10 IV. Pros, excellent and fast 24 by 600 millimeter lens superb stills and video quality. Cons, limited touchscreen control, pricey compared to rivals. For those looking for a powerful all-in-one solution, the RX10 IV is the best camera out there. Featuring a huge 24 to 600 millimeter f 2.4 by 4 zoom lens, the RX10 IV builds on the RX10 III with an overhauled AF system that now does justice to the rest of the camera. While the 1 inch 20.1 MP sensor is capable of achieving excellent levels of detail, it's quite bulky for a bridge camera and there's no getting away from the hefty price, but the RX10 IV is virtually in a league of its own. Number 9. Panasonic Lumix FZ2000 and FZ2500. The FZ2000 and the FZ2500 combines a bridge camera zoom with a big 1 inch sensor. Pros 1 inch sensor, super fast AF. Cons comparatively large, no weather sealing. The Panasonic Lumix FZ2000, known as the FZ2500 in the US, uses a 1 inch sensor, and while the zoom tops out at 480mm equivalent, which is relatively short for a bridge camera, that's still plenty for all but the most extreme everyday use. We'd certainly sacrifice a little zoom range for better and faster optics. And we love the FZ2000 because it delivers both image quality and zoom range. If you're looking for something a little bit cheaper, the older FZ1000, next on the list, is also worth a look. Coming in at number 8, Panasonic Lumix FZ1000. A 1-inch sensor and 4K video recording give this bridge camera the edge. Pros, 1-inch sensor, large maximum aperture. Cons, screen not touch sensitive, comparatively large. The Lumix FZ1000 16 times optical zoom is less than that of typical bridge cameras, but that's due to its sizable 1 inch sensor, which delivers a big boost in image quality. This isn't just any old lens either, but rather a Leica optic with a large f2.8 maximum aperture at the wide angle end, which narrows to a still respectable f4 at full zoom. This helps you capture shots in low light without resorting to high ISO sensitivities, while the hybrid 5-axis optical image stabilization minimizes camera shake. 4K Ultra HD Strictly, 3840 by 2160 video recording, advanced autofocusing, a superb 2,359,000 dot electronic viewfinder, and raw shooting all help to make the FZ1000 one of our top picks. 
Coming at number 7, Sony Cybershot RX10 III. Expensive but highly capable and offers a huge vocal range. Pros, superb sensor, high quality zoom lens. Cons, expensive. Menu system could be better. If you can live without the advanced AF system and other performance advantages offered by the RX10 IV, the RX10 III is still worth a look. The design is pretty much identical to the RX10 IV, and you've got the same 24-600 f2.4-4 lens. What's the compromise? Well, the AF is a bit pedestrian compared to the latest model, while there's no touchscreen control or the ability to shoot at an impressive 24 fps. With the arrival of the newer models, you might be able to track down one of these at a decent price. Number 6. Canon PowerShot SX70 HS This feature-packed bridge camera has a lot to offer enthusiasts. Pros 65 times zoom range Lovely handling Cons Build quality could be better Lacks touchscreen control the PowerShot SX70 HS is a more conventional bridge camera than our top four choices as it uses a smaller half-inch sensor, enabling a huge 65 times optical zoom range. It still offers full manual control though, plus an articulated screen, though it lacks touchscreen control, and a great electronic viewfinder and the ability to shoot in RAW. Built-in Wi-Fi with NFC is another bonus. Annoyingly, there's no eye sensor on the viewfinder, so you have to activate it manually. Image quality is very good, while the image stabilization system does well to keep captures at the telephoto extreme relatively sharp. Although, wide angle results in anything captured indoors at moderate ISO settings and above are noticeably worse. A good autofocus performance and speedy operation make it a pleasure to shoot with. Coming in at number 5, Panasonic Lumix FZ80 and FZ82. 60x zoom bridge camera gets close to the action. Pros, easy to use, effective image stabilization. Cons, no eye sensor for EVF, weak high ISO performance. The Lumix FZ80, known as the Lumix FZ82 outside the US, might be one of the most affordable bridge cameras here, but it still packs quite a punch. The zoom range is very impressive, going from an ultra-wide 20mm through to a staggering 1200mm, and benefits from an effective image stabilization system. There's also 4K recording with Panasonic's 4K Photo, which can shoot 8 megapixel images at 30 frames per second, meaning you should never miss that split second moment. It's also very easy to use with an intuitive touchscreen. The viewfinder could be better and there's no eye sensor to automatically switch between the viewfinder and rear screen, while high ISO performance can't match that of larger sensor and more expensive rivals. That said, this is one of the best budget bridge cameras around. Coming at number 4, Nikon Coolpix P900. Unleash your inner paparazzo with the P900's class leading 83 times optical zoom. Pros, class leading zoom range, inbuilt Wi-Fi and NFC. Cons, no raw shooting, big and expensive. Thought the Canon PowerShot SX70HS's 65x zoom was the limit for optical zoom range? Think again. Nikon has rewritten the rule book in this department, with the P900's incredible 83 x lens currently earning it the accolade of world's longest zoom bridge camera. Such a massive lens does make this one a hefty snapper, however. Features will include Wi-Fi with NFC pairing and an articulating screen, Image quality can't match the pricier 1-inch rivals, but if a long zoom is your main concern, the P900 certainly gets the job done. Number 3. Panasonic Lumix FZ70 and FZ72 It may be showing its age, but falling prices keep it in the game. Pros. 60x zoom. Raw format shooting. Cons. No Wi-Fi or touch sensitivity small, low-resolution EVF. 
The Lumix FZ70, or Lumix FZ72 outside the US, is one of the cheapest bridge cameras in our selection, and has since been replaced by the FZ80 and FZ82, seen at number 5. But it still sports a great zoom range with an impressive 20mm equivalent wide-angle focal length. Its lens aperture also opens up as wide as f2.8, though it does narrow to f5.9 at full zoom. Raw format recording and full manual control give the FZ72 enthusiast appeal, as does the attractive image quality. We would rank the FZ72 higher, but there's no Wi-Fi, while the relatively low screen and electronic viewfinder resolutions are a letdown. You'll also have to do without an eye sensor to automatically switch between the two displays. Coming at number 2, Nikon Coolpix P1000. 125 times optical zoom, anyone? Pros, unique 125 times optical zoom, good handling. Cons, plasticky finish, slow overall performance. The Coolpix P1000 is the follow-up to the P900 and stretches what we've come to expect from super zoom cameras that bit further. The reason is the lens with the P1000 packing in a massive 125 optical zoom range equivalent to 24 to 3000 millimeters in 35 millimeter terms. It has the potential to hone in on the most distant subjects you'd realistically want to capture, be it wildlife or the moon. If you absolutely need a camera with a 3000 millimeter equivalent lens, the fact that the P1000 is alone in offering this makes your decision easy. With a huge body, less than reliable autofocus, a substandard LCD, and operational stripes, however, its appeal for anything else is more limited. Number 1. The Best Bridge Camera, Sony Cybershot HX400 5. A great all-rounder that's just starting to be outclassed by newer rivals. Pros. High quality build. Wi-Fi, tilting screen. Cons, can't shoot in the raw. Low resolution EVF. Sony's premium super zoom bridge camera is closely matched with the Panasonic FZ72, but it loses out to that camera due to its higher price. JPEG only image capture and lesser zoom range. The HX405 claws back some ground by offering Wi-Fi while it's also a pleasure to use thanks to its ergonomic design and the tilting screen is a nice touch, although it isn't fully articulating. More disappointing is the relatively low resolution electronic viewfinder. Although there's no raw support, JPEG images have great colors and plenty of detail. Some image smoothing is visible when images are viewed at 100%, but that's a common trait amongst small sensor bridge cameras. And that brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best bridge cameras and those that will reign in the new year and beyond. You can find links to all the items in the description below. Let us know in the comments, what is your favorite budget bridge camera? And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace. Chin.